add the accommodation that you have chosen for your crazy rides road trip or any other point of interest to your route or track. I'm Uriel and welcome to another crazy ride and in this video I will be showing you how you can add your accommodation or another waypoint to your route or track in Garmin Basecamp to use on your Garmin device such as my Zumo. Johan and I have been road tripping through mainly Europe for over 20 years and with crazy rides we want to share our experience and the fun of road tripping. And we do that with vlogs and touring videos, how-to videos such as this one, but also the online road trip planning tool on our website where you can plan your own road trip in just a few clicks. By placing an order through the online road trip planning tool, you will get online access to the contents of your road trip. And if you want to know more what your Crazy Rides road trip contains and how you can use those contents, Please watch the video, how to use your crazy rides order. In the contents, you will find a GPX file and you will be able to download the GPX file. We've also made a video on how to use a GPX file with Garmin Basecamp to use on a Garmin SatNav, such as my Zumo. So if you need help with that, watch that video as well. In a crazy rides GPX file, you will find the routes. And if you prefer using tracks, tracks per part and a total track, but also the recommended accommodation for that tour. In this case, the chocolate and beer tour. To make your road trip even more enjoyable, I would recommend to add the accommodation that you have chosen and booked to your route, so it will be easy to start and end your ride. As I always check my routes in Garmin Basecamp and want a notification at the points of interest I added to my rides, I always use routes. We will make another video on how to use the routes and tracks on your Garmin device. So if you want to see how we do that, watch that video as well. And I will link it here as soon as that one is available. To add your accommodation to your route, make sure to select your route that you want to be adding the accommodation to. In this case, chocolate and beer one. Then zoom in via your mouse on the central point, in this case, Bruges. And then select the insert mode. First, go to the start of the route and a thick, dark, straight line between the start of the route and the next waypoint will appear. You can always zoom in or out in whatever mode you are by using your mouse wheel. Click that line so it will change into a thin straight line and then click with your little pencil on the accommodation that you want to add to your route. For instance, if you want to stay at the B, &B click this icon of the B, &B. You can do this with any other point of interest that is not included in your route yet. You have now added the accommodation, but I always change the order of the points of interest and waypoint. And you can do that by opening the route by double clicking on it. And you can see that your first point of interest is the start. And then your second is the BNB that we have just added. By simply selecting the start point of interest and move start down by clicking one time, you have now changed the order of these points of interest. As soon as you close this window, the route will then automatically recalculate and the accommodation and start will be put in the right order. You can check by 
selecting the pan mode and zooming in to your right one. So you can see you will start at your BNB and then go to the start point first. We do recommend to leave the start of a crazy right route in, as this will always be a petrol station, so you can fill up before you start with your ride. If you still want to delete the start of the route, open the route by double clicking on it again, select the start point of interest, and simply delete it by a right click and delete, or using your delete button. If you have done that, again, by closing this window, then the start point of interest will be deleted from your route. But I'm not doing that now because I recommend to leave it in. Now we want to add our accommodation at the end of our route. So I make sure Bruges is very central on my screen. This is the end of the route. I select the insert mode again, make sure that I have the straight dark line, click the route so it will change into a smaller line, click with my little pencil on my BNB, open the route, go to the end of the route, select end and move this one up by clicking once. Again, if you don't want to go to the end before you go to your BNB first, you can delete it by a right click, delete or pressing your delete button. Close this window and the route will be recalculated with your BNB as the final end of your route. And that's it for route. If you prefer to use tracks, it is more difficult as you cannot change the order of waypoints and points of interest in a track. If you would be looking at using the total track, you can add your accommodation by doing all the steps above to the route and then make a new track of the route, including the accommodation. And you can do that by a right click on the route and create track from selected route. This will be the total track and you will not get notifications at points of interest, like coffee stops, lunch stops, sightseeing stops, views, etc, etc. If you want to use the tracks per part and add your accommodation in the first and last part, this will need more work. First, do everything I have showed you to the route. So add your accommodation at the start and at the end of your route. It is best to then delete the first part and the last part of your track and not just by selecting it and pressing delete, but by right click and delete. And I won't go into this, but trust me, click delete. For this example, I will not be deleting these tracks, but I will rename the new tracks that I will be making. If you would want to use the full route as well, I do advise you to make a duplicate of the route before you start working in this one, because we will be deleting parts of the route. To make the new part one and point five of this track, open your route, and select everything after the first point of interest after start by selecting them. And that was shift click. And then with your right click, delete them all. So this will be the root of part one. And then you can change it into a track again, simply by using your right click create track from selected route. Then do the same for the last part. So select everything until the last point of interest. 
delete that. And then you will have the root of the last part, which you can change into a track by simply right clicking and create a track from that root. Like I said, adding your accommodation to a track is more work, but there you have it. And this should work for roots and tracks. So if you want to add a waypoint or your accommodation to your route or track, please follow all the steps that I just explained. And I'm sure that you will work it out. If I can do it, you can do it. And please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you like us to continue to share our experience and the fun of road tripping. And if you want to keep going crazy now, why don't you watch the video on how to use your GPX file with Garmin Basecamp.